As more cases of police brutality and racism come to light, Mercer is seeing its own efforts to raise awareness of racism in America. So I'm just extremely elated, extremely proud of everyone just standing in solidarity, showing support for social justice in America. That was Ainsley Booker, Director of Diversity and Inclusion Initiatives here at Mercer University. She co-organized a march and vigil that took place September 4th. The event drew around 400 protesters who marched around campus. And afterwards, around 100 gathered in Willingham Hall for a rally and vigil. All of this is in the hope of educating people on racial issues in America. But many participants also hope the protest helps refute certain misconceptions surrounding the Black Lives Matter movement. Mercer Sr. and SGA member Michaela Jones. It's not to say that only Black Lives Matter. It's saying, you know, all lives do matter. Absolutely. I, I could not agree with it more. But the problem we're trying to call out is there's a horrible history of this country where, all, where we say all lives matter, but the action behind it does not match up. Student Atea Bailey also says that she hopes the march brings more awareness to how there are more aspects of racism than just police brutality. It's not something that doesn't happen here, you know? It happens everywhere. It, like, it's not just the big events that, like, problems. It's the microaggressions. I think that blatant racism is the only thing that some people kind of think of as racism. But no, it's, it's the little things. After the protests, around 100 students gathered at Willingham Hall for a rally and vigil. There, students, faculty, and staff gave speeches. And she sang it and said, find out what it means to me. Organizers also read the names of individuals killed in high-profile instances of police brutality and racism. For Booker of the Office of Diversity and Inclusion Initiatives, she thinks that the protest is helping Mercer live up to its ideals, that at Mercer, everyone majors in changing the world. And I think, again, we always ask our students to be the change they wish to see, and I think they're implementing that change. And the next step for organizers is taking the energy of the protest and turning it into tangible action. Co-organizer Carol Bocros. I, I think that the young people are, black and white, are frustrated with the, the situation. And they need to talk about it, they need to sing about it, they need to, you know, get together and take action. And that's our next step. For the Mercer Cluster, I am Lars Lonroth. Well,